Last year in early September in Napier a senior member of the Mongrel Mob's notorious chapter was taken into custody on assault charges, and was granted name suppression. This name suppression order expired this week, and details can now be revealed. This Mongrel Mob member was Pautawa Puk Kirika, also known as Puk Dog, who has been in custody since, to which he pleaded guilty in the Napier High Court. The charges include kidnapping his partner, and seriously assaulting a 76-year-old man who stopped to help his partner. The assault took place at 4.30 am near Napier Police Station. A Lexus sports car pulled up and the victim being Kirika's partner covered in blood, ran from the car and was chased by Kirika. The police station was unmanned. The elderly couple, who were driving along Marine Parade, saw the women running towards their car, as she waved, the car stopped and the couple took the injured woman with them. Soon Kirika followed their car, and forced them to stop by overtaking and sliding his car in front. Kirika then approached the driver in anger and punched him multiple times. However the man still managed to drive off but later crashed due to injuries, causing extensive damage to the car. It was later discovered that the victim suffered a brain bleed, multiple fractures, large amounts of bruising, and cuts to his lip and neck during the attack. He had to be flown to hospital and underwent facial surgery. Meanwhile, his injured partner ran from the crash site but Kirika caught up with her and forced her back into his vehicle. Police was called at the site and they later arrested Kirika and his injured partner was treated in hospital for her injuries. Later a police search of Kirika's home uncovered a cannabis stash. He was charged for kidnapping and causing grievous bodily harm with intent to cause grievous bodily harm, both of which carry maximum penalties of 14 years imprisonment, as well as lesser charges of assault on a person in a family relationship and possession of cannabis. He will be sentenced on May 19. Puck Dog joined Mongrel Mob in 2008, and made international news in 2019 when he said in an interview that he was trying to turn his life around, but his distinctive facial tattoo was hindering his job search, to which rapper 50 Cent mocked him on Instagram, commenting and asking why he couldn't get a job. Despite claiming to want to change, Kirika continued to call himself a mobster in media appearances. A few months later, Kirika was in the news again for a domestic violence incident where he broke his partner's nose and was sentenced to supervision, domestic violence, and drug and alcohol programs. A judge has told a notorious Hawke's Bay mongrel mob member he should continue to distance himself from a gang lifestyle that does not lead to good outcomes. Pautawa Puk Fiti Kirika, 32, was sentenced in the Hastings District Court on a charge of assault in a family relationship. Kirika, who broke his partner's nose in an argument outside of Flaxmere College in October, pleaded guilty in December. On October 5 at 7pm, Kirika and his partner were sitting outside Flaxmere College when an argument erupted between them, the police summary of facts says. While she was trying to walk away, he caught up to her. Kirika struck her in the middle of the face and she fell to the ground. He stood over her, then picked her up and held her before police arrived at the scene. Since then Kirika has started a fitness and wellness company named Fit2Gook, gaining good following on Facebook with his training and nutrition tips, and has held various public boot camps. Kirika has a long criminal history and is well known to police. In 2011, Kirika high on methamphetamine and alcohol fired 23 shotgun pellets in an innocent hasting women's shoulder. He was jailed for three years following this vicious suburban shooting. In an interview, talking about jail he said, Jail makes people worse. Jail is not a nice place to be. If you think jail is the answer for these fellas, it's not. They go to jail and they're surrounded by gang members. If you are not a gang member, you go to jail, you'll come out a gang member. In 2021 he was found to be in possession of $109,000 cash and 10 grams of methamphetamine. He was charged and arrested however, the charges were withdrawn because police made an error when conducting their search warrant meaning the evidence of the drugs and cash they found in Kirika's possession was inadmissible. For this week's hearing Kirika appeared via audiovisual link in Napier Court, wearing his prison green jumpsuit. Apart from repeating guilty four times, Kirika sat quietly during the court appearance, 